This is Centennial News with your host, Tomo. Hello everyone, my name is Tomo and this is Centennial News. Drones were used to capture footage of humpback whales off the Pacific Northwest coast, practicing new feeding strategies. A video filmed by a research team led by a master fishery student caught a humpback whale corralling salmon into its mouth by leveraging its massive fins. This method of eating is reminiscent of how I ultimately opt to eat sushi after numerous attempts to use chopsticks. In other drone news, a librarian in Virginia is using drones to deliver books to families' homes amid coronavirus. To ensure the full library experience, rumor has it that the drone is equipped with a shing feature. Thanks to drone technology, parents will soon have a new answer to the age-old question, where do babies come from? However, parents should be advised that the follow-up question will likely be, is there a return service? One Texas high school principal traveled over 1,500 miles over the course of 10 days to give a personal congratulations to each of his 240 graduating seniors at their respective homes. On my high school graduation day, I think my principal handed me a rolled up piece of paper as a placeholder for a real diploma and called me Tom. In other Tom news, a dad by the name of Tom in the state of Maryland has made quite a name for himself thanks to his bad dad joke signs that he's been creating and positioning in his front yard for passerbyers to see. Tom is taken to the internet in search of the best, worst dad joke uh, in time for Father's Day. He has opened up the contest to any and all bad joke lovers where people can enter submissions via Facebook or Instagram. Tom says he'll read each submission, print all the entries, place them in a bowl, and randomly select a winning joke. I just hope no one submits any jokes about paper because those are terrible. W what? You, you know, I... In more Tom news, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced that the 93rd Academy Awards will be postponed by eight weeks, with the new date being rescheduled for April 25th of 2021. Perhaps this will allow Mr. Maverick to soar in his sequel performance and finally snag that Oscar that he's been tailing for so long. Cruz must be shaking off some heavy jet lag for his film to be delayed by six whole months. This has been Centennial News.